Well, good morning, friends. It's certainly good to be able to come back into your presence today to share with you a ray of hope by way of coffee and conversation. A great way to get a new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Today, I want to begin a study uh, on uh, Psalm 1, and we'll look at verse 1 today. The Bible says in Psalm 1, 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. My friend, just as Jesus started his Sermon on the Mount, it began with blessings. We see that the book of Psalms also begins with blessings. Blessed in Our text verse is not speaking of a single blessing, but of walking in blessings from God. Now, my friend, to be blessed of God means that we're walking in the salvation that the Lord Jesus purchased for us with his precious blood. We're walking in the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you'll notice in the text verse that the man is an individual thing. Your individual walk is your responsibility. Now, though there are many worldly people living next to this person, he or she has decided not to walk in the counsel of the worldly. This is a deliberate decision on this person's part. This person may be walking all alone. My friend, if we look at the following scriptures, uh, they describe the walk of a person who decides not to walk in the counsel of the ungodly. In Galatians chapter 2, verse number 20, uh, the Bible says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and who gave himself for me. The word walketh means to continually walk. Notice the progression. At first he's walking, then he's standing, and then he is sitting. This shows that we must not fellowship with those of unbelief. You see, my friend, when you stop and stand, you're giving more time than walking and sitting requires, uh, and and, uh, you you just got to move. The scornful can be either someone who professes belief and feels he is so much better than the average, or it could be someone who has totally rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. We would call this person an atheist or an unbeliever. You see, my friend, we need to see that this fellowshipping with those of unbelief is dangerous. A believer in Christ is cautioned not to fellowship with those of unbelief. Light and darkness cannot prevail in the same place. In 2 Corinthians 6.14, the Bible says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? You see, my friend, true happiness comes from fellowship with God, not with fellowship from the world. We must separate ourselves from the world, walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, uh, nor should we stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. We must walk uh, in the, the true light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we must pray daily that he keeps us Uh, in a place that we can light up his world and make a difference in the world. Pray with me. Father, today as we've looked at Psalm verse 1, help us to live that and walk where we need to walk, stand where we need to stand, and sit uh, in the right seat. Now, God, I pray that you'll help us do that because without you we can do nothing. And we'll give you thanks and praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, go out into your world today and make a big difference. Remember to light up your world for Jesus. Your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. Let others see Jesus in you.